Welcome everyone to Genius Forge. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install MySQL Server along with MySQL Workbench. For the MySQL Server, you just need to open your favorite browser and type MySQL Download in the search bar, then hit Enter. This will show you a link to MySQL Downloads. Click on that, and it'll take you to the official MySQL website. Once you're there, scroll down until you find the MySQL Community GPL Downloads section, and click on it. After that, you'll be redirected to the MySQL Community Downloads page. From here, click on MySQL Installer for Windows. It will take you to the page for the MySQL Community Download Windows Installer. I'll include this link in the video description so you can easily access it. On the page, you'll also see the current version of MySQL, which we'll be using for the Microsoft Windows operating system. Now, you'll notice that it's the MSI installer. And when you get to this page, you'll see two options. One is a 2.1 megabytes file, and the other is a 303.6 megabytes file. I recommend downloading the larger one, which is the MySQL installer community version, not the web installer. So go ahead and click on the download link in front of the MySQL installer community version. Once you click on it, you'll be taken to another page where you'll see the option No Thanks, Just Start My Download. Click that, and your MySQL server download will begin. You'll see that the download has started, so just wait a moment for it to complete. Once it's downloaded, I can simply click on the file right from the browser, as that's what I'll do here. Alternatively, you can go to your downloads directory and double-click the file to begin the installation process. You'll notice that it will ask for administrative privileges. Just click yes and the installation will start. Let's close the browser now. It may prompt you for administrative privileges again, so just click yes. Now the MySQL installer is launching. Here you'll see some radio buttons. Select Custom Installation and click Next. Under Select Products, expand the MySQL Server section until you see MySQL Server 8.2.35. Click the arrow next to it to add it to the products to be installed. Next, expand Applications to find MySQL Workbench. This will provide you with a GUI interface, so select it and click the arrow to move it under the products to be installed. If you want to include MySQL Shell, you can do the same, but I'll be demonstrating everything in MySQL Workbench, so I won't add it for now. If you'd like a video on MySQL Shell, just let me know in the comments. For now, I'll select only MySQL Server and MySQL Workbench, then click Next. You'll see these two products ready for installation, Simply click Execute to start the installation. Let's wait a couple of minutes for this to complete. Now, you can see that the installation status for both MySQL Server and MySQL Workbench is complete. Click Next to proceed to the configuration. You'll be prompted with configuration options. Here, Ensure that TCP IP is selected and note that the default port is 3306. This port is essential for communicating with your MySQL server, so remember it. You can leave the default settings for the named pipe and shared memory. Click Next. You'll see an option to use a strong password. Go ahead and click Next. Enter your password and repeat it. The Windows service name will be MySQL. This service will automatically start with your system, so you won't need to start it manually. Keep the default settings and click Next. You'll see a prompt to grant full access to the user running the Windows service. Just leave it as is, and click Next. Now click Execute to start executing all the steps. It will initialize the database, which may take a little time, so let's wait for that. Welcome back. The configuration for MySQL Server 8.2.35 was successful. You can click Finish here, and then click Next. Now, ensure Start MySQL Workbench after setup is selected, 
and click Finish to launch MySQL Workbench. You'll see that MySQL Workbench is now open. So, let's click on the MySQL 80 local instance. Here, you'll need to enter the same password you set during the installation process. You can also check the option to save password in Vault so that you won't have to type it in every time. Once done, click OK, and it will launch MySQL Workbench. As you can see, MySQL Workbench is now open, and we have our query window ready. The first thing we'll do is create a database. In the query window, I'll type Create Database My Database. Once written, I'll click on the lightning icon, the execute button. As you can see, the command executed successfully and our database is created. Now, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching.